Hello, it's Ashley from Twinkle and this video is about rainforests. What are they? Where are they? And why are they important? Well, they are an extremely important habitat to many species of organisms, including plant, insect, amphibian, reptile, mammal and bird life. Mainly situated towards the equator, their range is across continents within South America, Africa, Asia and Australia. As well as being beautiful treasures to experience, they are absolutely important to the survival of our planet, controlling CO2 levels as well as the movement of water. For much more information and activity sheets on the water cycle, please do search on our Twinkle website and it is their devastating loss which is having a great impact on life on our planet. So we have many, many resources which both celebrate and raise awareness to the growing problems that are happening within our world's rainforests. Here are just a few. Our first glance is at vocabulary. The diversity of life in these environments obviously requires an expansive vocabulary to describe it in all its wondrous glory. Words such as tropical, dense, damp, remote and lively stand out as bringing such a vivid and instant image of the rainforest. And our vocabulary resources lend themselves nicely to fiction and non-fiction work. Fun warm-up activities such as this unscramble challenge requires perseverance but definitely is a competitive task to see who can unscramble the letters first and then who can present a fact about rainforests using some of the vocabulary learnt. This leads us nicely onto our quick writing challenges. What's not to love about these, they are bite-sized activities such as making observations and deductions about photographs, finding new vocabulary to describe rainforests, properly punctuating direct speech, and writing sentences for plot events within a narrative. What's great is this sheet formulates ideas at speed. The beauty of science is really celebrated within this topic. We have wonderful packs such as a handy PowerPoint to provide information, and task sheets starting with predictions, observations, and conclusions. In all cases, we have teacher notes and recommended answers as a first port of call when preparing these lessons. Now this experiment measures plant growth based on the amount of light it receives. We also have a wonderful jar experiment which looks at making a miniature rainforest and making observations about the moisture in the water and the effect of this with the growth of seedlings. Finally, our home learning mat. It gives a wide variety of opportunities for creativity, research and experimental tasks. It reinforces progress made within lessons and it also provides the chance to work independently. Personally, I would still encourage collaboration between adult and child because sharing learning through discussion is often the best way for finding clarity. And as I try to stop speaking about this fascinating subject, my friend and I would just like to say thank you for watching, please subscribe for more videos and have a wonderful day.